Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to take you through a huge two-day transformation of our whole downstairs living area. Living dining is combined in our pretty small space townhouse. We have had the arrival of our little puppy dog, Freddy, recently, and he has required quite considerable rearranging of the house so I've had to relocate my kind of home office setup downstairs to the main floor it used to be upstairs in my bedroom upstairs is all carpeted so obviously when you have a new puppy in the house that is training all areas uh, you want to keep them on the tiled floors so with the help of some PlayStation gift cards, I managed to bribe or coerce or ask my kids to pitch in and help with this two day transformation. It was for the greater good. It was for Freddy. We wanted to be able to incorporate his puppy crate or pen situation that we've got set up for him just so it was more sort of centralized in the middle of our living room area so that if he was in that pen, which he totally is not for 99% of the time but whenever he has to go in his pen he can still see us we can still see him and he doesn't feel like he's kind of shut off in the corner where he was previously where the only space that we had available for his crate was behind sort of half of one of the sofas so now I think that when he is in his crate he's more centralized in this space and he won't mind being in there so much One of the great things I love about having a furniture rearrange is it gives an awesome opportunity to give a really deep clean behind the furniture, under the furniture, in all those kind of nooks and crannies and bits and pieces that you don't always get to get to every time you do your regular cleaning. So you can mop under, you can dust the skirting boards, everything like that. Say something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep Another great thing about the way that we have rearranged the living room now is that we've got two options to flip the TV to either side of the room. So there's like a low line buffet on one side now where the TV is just to accommodate Freddie's pen and then flipped onto the other side is our big media cabinet from Ikea that the TV has been on for the last couple of years. I have actually had it down on that buffet for a while in our old apartment. I don't think I posted any videos though during that time when I had it down. Well, I get a ton of questions about this IKEA media cabinet. The middle big section is still available and for sale at IKEA, but for some reason they have discontinued the smaller sections which I use on either side of the one of the big sections. Um, it is the Fajal King TV unit and I'll definitely leave it linked because like I said I do get a ton of questions. And it was her and I, I She promised me to never leave my side But she left me here alone I know it's dumb I still check my phone Cause I can't move on Whoa. Why did she go? 
Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I denied to think that she'd be the one? Whoa. Just tell me why did she go? The street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Little Freddy is our miniature schnoodle, so he is a schnauzer poodle cross. He is only almost 15 weeks old, so he hasn't had all of his injections or vaccinations yet for all of the things that little puppies are very susceptible to, like parvo and all that kind of stuff. So we can't really go out anywhere unless we leave him at home. So we figured since we are staying at home, we may as well make the most of it and get all of the house cleaned, sorted out and really well set up for him. So that is why obviously the boys are staying at home, helping out to do this little transformation. And like I mentioned, they did get a PlayStation gift card each for helping out. So they definitely earned it. And I I can tell by watching back I can be very bossy when I'm in the middle of a transformation so um, they definitely earned it but they did a great job and I think it's really important for kids to just understand that they've got to help out when they are part of a household and the household gets a pet or something happens or even just day to day it's really important that they you know feel like that they have to contribute and not even help out because it's not helping out when you do your part to contribute to living in a household and keeping it running even if you're a kid that's just generally doing your part that's why I don't like it when I hear people say oh my husband is great he helps out so much it's not helping out it's your house you live there too same goes for kids you live here too you've got to do your fair share of you know cleaning and keeping the house under control when the puppy that has arrived is, you know, a puppy for everyone and the kids have asked for so long for a puppy, I've mentioned this in many videos before, they've got to take, you know, the good fun with the responsibility side of it. And so for this instance, it was the fact that we needed to incorporate in our small space a crate for Freddy to be able to stay in and stay nice and safe. And that involved spending a couple of hours helping out around the house, all pitching in together and rearranging some furniture. I don't think that they're really too hard done by. I get a lot of mixed responses in the comment when I show my kids helping out. A lot of times people are 99% positive saying, yeah, it's really good that you get your boys to, you know, do stuff around the house and do chores and learn how to do things. But sometimes it's like, you should be doing it. You're their mum. You should be doing everything for them. No way, Jose. Not in this house. No way. Never is that going to be the case. So I am all for teaching kids how to be self-sufficient, teaching them how to cook and clean and be able to manage on their own. So definitely if you're going to have issues about me making my kids rearrange furniture or anything, don't even bother. In this clip, I was just looking at how the room would look with the rug in the longer configuration. So going lengthways across the space rather than side to side from the dining room. It didn't work out, so we just flipped it back. Doesn't take too long. Is now the next day so we're on to day two of this transformation of our living 
area space. So yesterday we rearranged all of the big pieces of furniture and then this morning I just rearranged and set up a kind of new configuration of the home office, just a little workspace that is downstairs. I really like it in this configuration, I'll show you later, but it just gives you the opportunity rather than with your face to a wall and your back to the main area of the room, being able to have it sideways to the main area so that I can easily keep an eye on Freddie, I can see what's going on without having to turn around each time. So as you can see from this clip, it's kind of tucked away to the side. It's not too in your face, but I've got a little IKEA unit to the side with all of my files and office supplies in it. I've got my smaller Alex desk. I still have the bigger one, it's in the garage and I probably will use it at some point in the future. But I'm really liking just the way things have just been rearranged and tweaked just to make it feel like there's a bit more floor space. And even though there is the addition of a poppy crate, it just doesn't feel so cramped. I also took the opportunity to take literally everything out of every cupboard and every drawer, have a good go through and then just do some reorganizing. So since now I don't have just a bookshelf for my entryway, I've got this drawer unit. I've just moved everything that would normally sit up on the top of the shelf into the drawer and this is where I come in 99% of the time so it's right by the stairs from the garage so I will just empty my handbag or my backpack into those drawers empty out any receipts that I've got to file or keep and then drop my keys and everything that I need to either leave the house or come in so there's reusable grocery bags and all that kind of stuff. The next one down is all the stuff that needs to leave the house. So you could see that there was a bag of batteries there that we'd just been collecting. They need to go to the recycling. There's some things that need to go down to the garage. And then there is our grab and go bag, which is for all of the stuff that we have if we go out somewhere like to the beach or the park or the pool or anything like that, that is all in a bag all ready to go so anytime we want to go outdoors on an outing which we will be soon when freddie's finished his vaccinations you just grab that bag and you go i've shared that in an get organized with me video before but it is really great to have in the next drawer that we've got it's kind of like a junk or catch-all type drawer with all the bits and pieces that maybe should stay in the garage but i don't want to be running down every time i need something so there's a little toolbox there's essential oils um there's some musical bits and pieces uh and then there's kind of a random selection of the little things that always get lost box so there's a sewing kit buttons all those kind of little pins and things there's some candles in there and it's just kind of like i said yeah a catch-all drawer but it's pretty well organized i just use these drawer dividers uh, i think they're for the wardrobe from ikea they are the scub wardrobe organizers and it keeps it all neat and tidy next drawer down is just a bit of a games drawer so it's got some games in it and then to the left i've kept this to be sort of more office supplies type thing so cables chargers label maker some drawer organizers this particular drawer is not super super organized but like i've just moved everything into it today besides my desk i just have the regular stationery printer paper, gift wrap, some labels, some notepads, everything that you need, you know, generally day to day if you're working. This is actually the freebie that I got from a couple of jobs ago that, that I based my daily planner on that is available for download for free on my website, which I'll leave a link for below. So the side section of the Calyx unit that is behind the other drawer. Uh, some things that I really rarely need to access, which is like the replacement letters for all the letter boards around the house, um, a paper trimmer, spare office supplies, and then on the shelf above that, it is just the wireless router, so nothing that needs to be accessed frequently at all. In the desk of my, in the drawer of my desk unit, there is just regular stationery, all of the markers and highlighters that I use. And then over onto the buffet side of things, this is the only drawer that I really, really reorganized. And I just put together a special dedicated drawer that is just for Freddie. So it's got absolutely all of his stuff, 
all together in one location so that anytime anyone needs anything for Freddy to either get in with his harness, his lead, all of his worming, all of his medication, all of his poo bags, all of his poo pads, all the stuff that you need to clean up his little accidents and he's a puppy so yes he does have accidents. <laughs> um, we are going to have a next level clean with me puppy edition video coming up very very soon on this channel. So all of his goodies, his bits and pieces, everything that he needs for grooming it's all here in one location and if you have a pet this is the best thing ever so that anytime anyone in the family needs to clean up or grab anything for him everyone knows exactly where it is it's all neatly organized he's got his little pen set up to the left of it so it's really handy to that to get everything he needs and then we've got his little treat station we're going all out for freddy here and then this little jar is just so when everyone is at home we just put out a little bit of a daily dose we allocate a daily ration of treats so that he's not just being fed endless treats by everyone in the family if we put out a set amount of treats each day then everyone can give him treats throughout the day but when that allocation of treats is over then that's it that's done we also have a little timeout thing for him because he is on really strict puppy training for mouthing and biting, making sure that he doesn't bite, and also for toilet training. Uh, but the timeout is especially for if he bites or if he, I don't know, he's a puppy and that is just natural and normal, um, but he really needs to be trained to not mouth and not bite because we don't want a adult dog that bites, obviously. All right, so this is just a little quick final overview of the transformation of the house. If you're new here, you probably won't know how it was before. So go and check out some old videos and you'll be able to see the transformation of this place since we've been here. We've only been here a couple of months, but I'm really liking how it's kind of gone back to how I, I've moved the big furniture pieces back to where I really like having them. So for example, the record player, I really like it here, set up on its own little stand here by itself I prefer to have like the slimmer bookshelf rather than the buffet next to the kitchen because it's a little bit skinnier I'm loving having Freddy's little station here and absolutely having a dedicated Freddy drawer has just made my life so much easier definitely he um, he requires a lot of cleaning and a lot of picking up after but he's a puppy and that's what it's expected and yes my kids definitely do pick up after him and clean up if he does make a mess on the floor so guys, that about wraps up today's huge two-day transformation. I know it may not look like a lot, but it was a huge undertaking. Um, we put in a heap of work to get this done and pulled off. We did it over two days, but we didn't spend all day every day obviously doing it. It just makes me feel like the new place is a little bit more suited to our needs now as a changing family with a puppy. So if you did enjoy this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how you like it. And if you prefer the TV on the big white Ikea cabinet with all the shelves around decorated, or if you like the kind of more minimal look of it on that low line cabinet. I like to go between the two, to be honest. I like a little bit of difference the one thing though that I am looking forward to is maybe switching the TV to the side of the room where the big white cabinet is now and seeing how that works out so I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like if you haven't already be sure to subscribe before you go have a fabulous week and as always I will see you in the next video bye everyone Keep it cool, bending all the way.